people, my people. <clears throat> Sorry for the uh, break when it came to cocktails. I've been running around like a headless chook. Now, today I'm going to present you a breakfast cocktail. It's called a breakfast cocktail because it's got marmalade in it. Okay, this cocktail, you need one glass. You need two types of alcohol. I've got using Jindu's Gincello, limited edition. Go on Badger Mat for more in place of triple sec. Now, if you are not fortunate enough to live in Australia, or Mac, Matt hasn't listened, risen to my repetitive badgering of Mac, you've got to make more Gincello, Matt, you've got to make more Gincello, Matt, you've got to make more Gincello. And he hasn't made more Gincello, like I've been telling him to. Um, at a pinch, you can use, and I'm going to choke on these words, um, Grenmanje, man, <coughs> Grenmanje, Grenmanje, um, or Salerno, which is an Italian blood orange. So that would be in the place of this fantastic Melbourne made Gincello using Australian native citruses and Bond Beach Organic Dry. So what I'm going to do is my very best op shop find shaker. I'm going to pour a shot, yes, of this. And yes, I am film filming this by myself. Now it happens to be a rather warm late winter's day. There is the rumor coming in. We'll hear the sound of happiness. That this is going to be the gin drink drinking summer. So I'm going to pour a shot of Bond Beach Organic Drive. Try. Dave and Dean are making buck bucket loads of this. Just go and tell them, see, just find them at one of their markets and say, look, Odin keeps on telling you to make a litre bottles of this. So a shot of that in here. A shot of the limited edition gin cello and gin do. Matt, make some more gin cello. Matt, make some more gin cello. More center happiness. So a shot of this. Now, I think it's called a breakfast um, cocktail, not only because it's got marmalade in it, but also um, I've been well and truly test driven this. Uh, this is a great way to start your day, trust me. <laughs> um, if you've got small people in your house like I do, now squeeze of lemon to taste. That's more people in your house like I do. Uh, there are times when only alcohol will do because, um, well, my darling wife and I, having had a horrible uh, couple of days with children, um, made the determination that we would drink until we liked them. There's a problem with that. Um, it took about three hours of a bowl of gin, to be honest with you. Now, a spoonful of gin. I'm using ginger marmalade because uh, I like a little bit of bite. So, a spoonful of this in okay a little bit more now yes and i'm trying for the whole this is something you can do at home type feel no these slick production over nice now there's some ice which i froze earlier i've been keeping in a bag i literally sent my eldest out with um a hammer on a bag to slap this around so i'm gonna add a fair bit of rock ice to this Actually, this is hot water that I froze, so I could use it later. So I'm going to add a bit of ice to that. Use my very best op shop type find uh, cocktail mixer. Give her a shake. Get everything nice and mixed in. Actually, this would be fantastic on one of those 40 degree days they're predicting. Even today, it's what, early August and um, it's 20 degrees, which is something I've never seen. You strain into a glass, having done the requisite thing. Now, if I was to be the, uh, profe pro pro the person who really makes cocktails, um, I'd be adding a ledger wedge of lime to this, but this has got two shots of booze in it. I'm gonna have a drink off camera because it's rude to drink in front of people. Oh, hell yeah. 
Matt, Dave, and Dean, you've done it again. So remember, this was a wholly unsolicited um, use of Bond Beach Organic Dry. You get it by mail if you don't live in Melbourne. Gin do's gin cholo, badge your mat to make more, and then start sending him checks in the mail for it. This has been a breakfast cocktail. Um, I tell you what, this may be, this would make a wicked breakfast. Um, I can just see my ability to want to do much of anything just going, <laughs> well, yes, it's nice that, um, well, yeah, we're not going to talk to you anymore. That's what my work ethic is doing to me at the moment. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget that competition I'm running. It all began with the uh, review of this. Thanks. Subscribe, like, follow, share. Tell your friends. Catch up.